What is going on everybody? I'm Chris Bryant. Welcome back to Show Me Repair and today I've got a 04 excursion with a charging problem. So let's get this figured out. Hey, what's up guys? I got a truck running here. I'm getting ready to show you. A lot of you wanted to see more footage on uh, me using my oscilloscope that I just got. And right now I'm going, I'm testing. I'm going to back you up and use my other camera. I'm testing uh, voltage and current from an alternator because I have a excursion in with a bad alternator. So let me show you what I have here. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the blue line is our voltage. And we're just under 12 volts. If I look at my voltmeter, that agrees. And then this red line down here is the current. We are at zero current. So you can see that it's at a 20 volt scale for the blue and a 200 amp. And we're at zero amperage. Okay, I just had the truck running there. You saw that the voltage was low, was under 12 volts, and then also the uh, amperage was low. So the alternator wasn't putting out any amperage. I'm gonna show you now, I just turned my battery charger on and I know that my battery charger is at uh, 40 amp boost charging and I still have the oscilloscope hooked up but then I put my uh, amp uh, lead around the charger positive uh, cable and I'm actually reading and this I'm not saying this is what your alternator should show but with this we can at least read how many amps is going into the battery and how much voltage and then we can look at the voltmeter so here i'll switch the camera around so you can see okay so chargers on at 12 volts you can see i'm at 40 amp boost no it won't go to that because i'm not okay anyway we know that's what that's at we go here to the volt or the dvom we're just under 13 volts and we're reading off the driver's battery. But then when we come to the oscilloscope, now you can see that blue line is fluctuating. And where are we at there? We're right about in the middle of 12 and 14. We're about 12.8, right? Well, no, we're at about 12.9, so we're about 13, which that's about right. But then this is cool. So we have a alternating peak of about eight amps. No, sorry. Oops. So this scale here is our voltage scale. The right hand scale. I'm still learning about all this too. And I think that's just so cool. So this scale here, you can see peaks at 200. So we're peaking at 80. So it's kind of bringing the amperage in and pulsing it. I don't know if that's by design Maybe I had a crappy charger. I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty cool, though, that we can actually see that there. So we know that alternator, comparing that, that alternator was down at zero, and it wasn't doing anything. And I'd say that alternator is probably supposed to be roughly in the 90 range. I mean, I'd ideally like to see a little bit higher for an excursion, but, you know, that's what came on these, maybe 110. So let me... Now hook up, now what am I gonna do? Okay, I wanna show you some other stuff to test to make sure that um, it's not actually other wiring that could be the issue on your alternator. And just going by the oscilloscope, you don't wanna just go by that to fail something. It's just another tool to use to diagnose and try to uh, figure out exactly what part is not working. Okay, on this 2004 excursion with the six liter, you have two wires at your connector up here. And one is a, I believe it's a orange with blue. And it would actually be the, this, I, yikes. Okay, let me unplug that. Causing too many issues. So this actually normally faces like this. Well, I spun it around so I could look at it this way. So if we plug into that, give me a second. Keep this away so we don't spark. 
So that is, from what I understand, and I read up on the wiring diagram and everything, that is the exciter wire for the, uh, I'm going to use the wrong word, regulator, I believe it is. Just basically that's the way I understand it in my head. I think that's wrong. I don't know, rectifier, regulator, anyway. That is basically the circuit that tells the alternator how much to charge. And that taps in and goes over and taps into the harness here. So basically, key off, I'm reading battery voltage. I have the charger on still, so I'm going to read that. Now this other wire, let me hook up to it. Okay, the other wire is a light green and red. That is the circuit for the battery light at the instrument cluster. And with key off, I have no voltage. Let me go turn the key on. Okay, key on, glow plugs are cycling. Okay, and I have battery voltage now. Now my voltage has most likely gone down with the battery since everything's powered up. And I bet you it'll start coming back now that the glow plugs and everything is cycled. A volt or so off is okay. Let me double check this. Come over. Yeah. And that's me testing with the battery with the key on. And it'll the charger will slowly bring it back. Yep, see? Okay, let me hook back up to that. Okay, we're hooked back up to the lead, and there we are. More battery voltage. That is good. If I did not have battery voltage there, that is not a good thing. So that turns off the, uh, the battery light in the instrument cluster. If I did not have battery voltage there with key on, I would have a problem and I'd want to start searching, hunting that wire down, see if there's a break or anything like that. So since I know those two are good and also unplug, we're going to check, we're checking voltage right at our all there. And it's the same. Now my engine's not running, but I know that I'm reading the same voltage at your alternator as I am the battery. Theoretically, you know the wire going from the alternator to the battery is good. If that was low, I'd have an issue. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a new alternator on and we'll go back to the oscilloscope and watch that. Okay, I got the truck running again. I got the new alternator on. I'll show you that real quick. You see, new alternator. Old alternator. Got my leads hooked up, my Pico on. Let's check out the screen now. Okay, if we go, let's look at voltage first. We're just under 14 volts, so we're 13 something. Well, it agrees with that. And then now, you can see our current fluctuating. And we're between 60 and 80 amps. So we're good. That fixed our problem. Now, one thing you should rem remember on pretty much any diesel, because it uh, doesn't matter whether it's a six liter that has glow plugs or a Cummins that has a heater grid, a lot of times they won't bring the alternator in while it's using any of the heaters when it first starts. Maybe uh, the alternator will kick on a lot sooner when um, oh when it's hot outside and it's not using those heaters. But a lot of times the engineer is designed to use the glow plugs no matter what. Whenever you uh, start it when it's hot outside, it'll still use them a little bit. So don't be surprised if you don't get charging when you first start up. Let me uh, let me see if I can simulate that for you and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay to start out with we're sitting at 12 and a half volts at our driver's battery we're all hooked up 
I got my scope running. I'm sitting over 12 volts, just like that, say. All right, come here. Wait for the... That's what's run up front. Okay, we're sitting at 1180, just under 12. And let's wait a little bit. It's not bringing the alternator on yet. It seems like a long time, just wait a second. There we are, there it turned the alternator on. So it was done using the glow plugs. It may use the glow plugs a little bit, but it's not using it enough to hurt that alternator now. So now we know we have a good alternator. Anyway, that is awesome. We fixed the truck. I love it. I love whenever we fix it. I just have fun doing this. This is why I enjoy doing this stuff. I love having a problem, figuring the problem out, and then fixing the problem. So I guess that's why I'm kind of addicted to working on cars. Um, you know, you don't, you can make good money in it, but, uh, I love how people say you can make six figures, but most of the time people that are, uh, that are cheating are making that kind of money. But uh, I just enjoy this stuff. I'm glad I can share it with you guys. I'm glad I got to share the oscilloscope with you again and let you see that. Uh, I'll probably make more videos on it now that I have it. I think it's pretty cool that I can use that to help diagnose the problem. You know, we saw that before it was not making any amperage from the alternator wasn't charging and then now we get to see what a good alternator looks like so that is super cool uh i can't take credit and act like i know how to set all this up it's pretty uh pretty easy pretty user friendly and they have very nice guided uh setups where it tells you how to set up all the leads and uh so basically i mean it just the amount of they, they make a complete set that i couldn't even afford it was pretty high priced but uh they make one that has tons of leads. You can do all kinds of testing. It's super cool. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely stay tuned because I'm going to try to keep pumping out some videos. That way I can teach you guys how to fix stuff. That way you guys can keep your trucks on the road. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.